and welcome or welcome back my name is V and this is the next part of my persona for golden playthrough like every video in the past few videos I can uh, start off with uh, going all hey I'm excited about the dungeon today but uh, then again I don't know if we'll see the fabled dungeon as we've been doing a lot of social links and the game has given me a lot more time to finish them than what I initially expected. So I'm pretty happy about that, but I also really want to save Marie, so we're going to try and do that today. If you happen to be new here on the channel, make sure to subscribe and do leave the video a like for your own algorithm benefits and for my video to other Persona fans as well. Without further ado, let's play the game. This is where we left off last time. It is the evening, the 5th of February. I almost said the 2nd of May, because that's how we read the dates in Europe. And I'm really, really hoping to finish Naoto's uh, social link as I am rank 9. So the game has been unexpectedly generous when it comes to time uh, that I received to max out another social link. So hopefully we managed to do it. Gets quite chilly in this district at night, doesn't it? I just finished my shopping. If you don't mind, perhaps we could stay and chat. Sure. You know, it's almost Valentine's Day. Oh, do we get a date? Probably not. The students at school can speak of little else. This time of year always leaves me a little forlorn. I don't know what that means. Keep getting asked what kind of chocolate I like by the female students. <laughs> at least some of them must already know that I'm a girl. I have mixed feelings about this. That's just how it is. I envy you. I've been there. Uh, oh, we say I envy you. No, we're not. Been there. That's just how it is. That's just how it is. Let's try to stay neutral. I don't know. I suppose so. I knew that there must be a certain proportion of students who might feel that way, but still, I'd hate to lead them on. But what to do? Well, at least we got some points, right? Not bad at reading people's emotions when it doesn't concern me. But it seems that personal involvement can impair my judgment. Even on my last case, the client... And then we stop listening, okay. I have something useful for you and she gives me a sedative. Great. Oh, she did say that uh, our relationship might grow stronger. So if, if, if we have a link today, we might just be able to... We might just be able to to max it out. I really hope they don't take all my time. Oh. Good morning. The advancement exams start today. Did you remember to study for them? No. Chia seems anxious, but me, I'm kind of relieved. I miss things like exams and school work. This is just another sign of normal life slowly coming back. I'm with you there. I wish those stayed gone, right? <laughs> you might have a point there. Although the ski trip is this weekend, we need to do our best for it. Okay, so we might not see the dungeon today because we're going on a ski trip and, you know, <laughs> okay. Advancement exams. Oh, God. The word alphabet comes from the word alpha and what other one? Let's say beta. How is the theory that the pyramids were built by slaves disproven? Attendance log, contracts, employee ID cards, resumes. Let's say attendance logs. I don't remember. Oh, no. Oh, no. I might not get to do it. Ay ay ay. What drink name means bury demons? Uh, I don't know. Let's say Toshi. Oh, you don't have a good feeling about your answer. What's the medical term for brain freeze? Could be, could be uh, this one. Yes. Didn't want to read it. Embarrass myself. <laughs> Oh no, this is a problem. What is the Japanese zodiac equivalent to the cat? Uh, let's say rabbit. What's the vegetable was used to make the first jack-o'-lanterns? Eggplant. No, no. <laughs> Probably, was it watermelon? I don't know. Oh no. Fine. What color were the pyramids when they were first built? White. What gets mixed with snow in Europe that sometimes <laughs> makes has it to turn red? Human blood. The Sahara Desert sand red dye. <laughs> Human blood. Oh God. 
Today is the last day of exams. Ah, this week has been so stressful. But the ski trips tomorrow. I can't wait to stay the night with everyone. Say, say, how are you at skiing? I haven't done it in a while, so I'm worried I might be a little rusty. I'll teach you. I'm worried too. I don't ski, but... <laughs> you will? Hooray! We'll be there for two days and one night, so there will be plenty of skiing. I'll take you up on that offer. Oh, two days and one night? Okay. So are we having a, a date? Maybe. Maybe. That'll be fun. But then we're not gonna get to, ma to, to max out in Naoto, maybe. It's the last day of the exams. Last question gave you a hard time. You feel you did well. Oh god. And they took all of my time. Oh my god. Maybe we just don't have any more time to max it out. Ski trips tomorrow. We decided to go straight home. Damn it. Oh no. Well, this might be a problem. It is evening. Can't go anywhere. The ski trip is today and we are we might be done with the social links. That's annoying. It's fine. It's fine. I do want to go to the ski trip, of course. Today is the day of your ski trip with your friends. It will be your last big memory of winter in Inaba. You endeavor to have as much fun as possible. Oh, we get a cutscene and everything. Oh, so I'm good at this? Okay. She is not. <laughs> you gotta open up your stance. Do you get it? Come on. Oh god. It's, it's easier said than huh? Ah! <sighs> I'm cute. Oh, oh, so sorry. <laughs> I'm shipping two of them so hard. Is this the cutscene I get because she's my girlfriend? I don't know. Maybe. Oh my god. <laughs> that was cute, wasn't it? You ski down the slopes a number of times, enjoying the time with your friends. We've been down the slope a bunch of times now. Hey, what do you think of my snowboarding skills? I bet you're head over heels with them. Well, yeah, but only because we were falling down all the time. Teddy kept crashing into me. I love their outfits. It's not. That Kanji gets to keep skiing with Nao-chan. I'm completely against one-on-one -on -one personal lessons. So you were doing it on purpose, you bastard! You guys are completely ignoring my lines, huh? Yes. <sighs> this was your first time skiing, Nao-chan. How was it? I can barely even stand upright. Kanji-kun is teaching me, but it's not going as I'd hoped. I keep going in the wrong direction or falling over without warning. I hope I do a little better tomorrow. You don't look it, but you really don't like losing, do you? Should we go up one more time? What? I'm too tired. My legs are giving out on me. I love their outfit. So adorable. My fur's all frozen too. I feel like Frosty the Snow Bear. We've got tomorrow too, so let's call it a day. Aren't you hungry, Chie? <laughs> I didn't even notice it until now. I'm super hungry. What are we having for dinner at the lodge? Meat. <laughs> I think soul cooked in non-regional style. That non-regional part caught my attention. So it's a non-style style? style? <laughs> what is that supposed to taste like? I think you would only call it something like that if you weren't all that confident about your food. Oh god. I doubt the chefs would appreciate hearing that from you guys. <laughs> what do you mean? I remember you yelling about how delicious that cake we made was. I wasn't yelling. 
And that cake was only good because Naoto helped you. That's ah. not true. It was thanks to the cookbook. I don't care which it was. And you guys should have been using a cookbook in the first place. There's something more important at hand right now. Soul is a fish, right? What about some real meat? Meat! Oh, so fish is not meat. Got it. How much of a carnivore are you? I don't think I saw any real meat dishes on the menu. No beef? Or pork? Or even chicken? She's got a point. And considering how much we've been skiing, I could use something with a lot of protein. Meat. Everyone turns to look at Teddy. Has the day finally come that you all want a little taste of Teddy? No, we'd never do that. Bear meat is pretty gamey. <laughs> You're so cruel, Yuki-chan. <laughs> You've been skiing for today and decide to return to the lodge. <laughs> so funny. Oh, we do have an evening as well. That's cool. After dinner, everyone gathered in the lounge. Where did we get the money for this? Is Teddy still in the bathhouse? We saw these college girls while we were having dinner. He said he was going to hold out in the bath until they showed up. Sheesh, what's he up to now? You say that, but I bet you wish you were there with him right now, don't you? <laughs> That's the worst. Wouldn't you rather spend time with us? I mean, me rather than people like that, senpai? Wow. No. <laughs> Dude, how awesome is it that we all get to stay overnight like this? And it's co-ed. So why don't we... No. Why don't we what? But I didn't suggest anything yet. Sorry, were you gonna say play cards? <laughs> night skiing. I've always been impressed by people who can do that. No. <laughs> then we'd have to take another bath afterwards. Honestly, I'm already exhausted from snowboarding all day. Then why don't we do what people usually do when they get together at night? Tell ghost stories. Oh, God. I don't know. Isn't that usually a summer thing? They really are kids, aren't they? Yeah, um, I think I'll have to disagree, too. Huh? Could it be that you're actually scared of ghost stories? Stuff like in those stories actually happens in the mountains. That one time during shooting was enough for me. What? Stop it! Oh, our inn has a lot of spooky stuff, too. Once, we asked a customer how he liked his room, and he said the restroom was too dark. But his room didn't have one. And sometimes when you take pictures in that room during Obon, they don't come out right. Whoa, that's pretty creepy. <laughs> I like her art with the wing. <laughs> and I heard that Haniwa are occasionally found in the mountains around here. They say this entire area could have been a grave site long ago. Folklore has little valid scientific evidence, but is a result of cultural significance and strong story elements. She's freaked out as fuck. I love it. <laughs> Any ancient burial ground is likely just the site of a... Temple, so um, you're scared too. <laughs> yes, <laughs> this is starting to get pretty good. He likes it. Scary stories. I love them, they're okay. Love it. <laughs> oh, so you got any special stories of your own up your sleeve? I can't believe you guys. I'm having no part of this. I'm <laughs> Be scarier to only hear bits and pieces of stories like that. Shut up, Moran. <laughs> oh God! Why are you pushing so hard for us to tell ghost stories. Moran. Oh God! God damn it. Well, I'll start off then. Yukiko can go last. Her stories are off the charts creepy. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I love the music. Three years ago, a friend of mine in middle school told me this. It seems his sister went to a pretty prestigious private school, but she ended up running with the wrong crowd. Supposedly, she and a bunch of other girls were bullying another girl in their class. He said that she'd come home every night and laugh over the phone with her friends about the kid they were harassing. One day, she suddenly came home with a pale face. Ever since then, 
She started locking herself up in her room. No matter how much he asked what was going on, she'd completely ignore him. But he could hear her mumbling. She'd keep saying to herself, It's my turn next. My friend got worried, so he went to ask his sister's friends what was going on. But it turns out, all her friends had passed out for mysterious reasons and had been taken to the hospital. Oh, God. He was so scared that he didn't know what to do. That night, at around 11.30, suddenly his sister started screaming in her room. He ran into her room, and she was covering her ears and repeating, She's calling me! I can hear her! I saw her phone was ringing. <laughs> My friend couldn't hear anything. And soon, his sister rushed out of the house. The next morning, she was found unconscious outside the school gates, just like her friends had been. In the end, she was taken to the hospital and recovered. But when he asked the people at school what happened, it seems the girl they were bullying was dead. They said that the girl must have become a spirit that haunted them one by one. <laughs> That's impossible. Your story is full of inconsistencies. Wait, but I think I've actually read a police report like that. That's not denying it. You're supporting it. Wait, did she die? Well, I think she turned up okay. <laughs> well, that doesn't matter. That wasn't bad for a leadoff, right? That was a good story. <laughs> what do you have in mind? On a trip one night just like this. This happened to me recently. I can't do it. I can't do this. On a trip one night just like this. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. You're going to do this to us, too? You decided to tell him a story you know. It sounds realistic when you tell it. So? So? And then? Late at night, he heard crying. He woke up in a blue room. Never mind, I can't go on. He woke up in a blue room. Let's do that. Come on, this isn't a ghost story anymore, <laughs> is it? It's just a story about someone being kidnapped. What was that? I heard something. I heard something just now. That was unusual. It, it's just our imaginations. Anyway, keep going. We can't just end it here. That'd be even scarier. Hanako and Kashiwagi monsters. A creepy man with a long nose. Oh, we're telling a story about Igor. Yeah, let's do that. Something about a nose that long? A ah! uh, uh, blackout? Oh shit! Something just went past me! I told you I didn't want to do this! Why didn't you listen to me? Someone get the lights on! I can't take this anymore! Hurry! The, hang on! Where's the switch? We don't have for Oh! Oh my god, he's eating all of the snacks. You think you're eating all the snacks while I'm gone? <laughs> I'm gonna curse you. I love this. <laughs> Get him? Yeah, let's finish him off. I'm sorry, Teddy. Only people have human rights. <laughs> what? Babes, what's come over you? Babes, oh god. Why are you so mad at me? So it was Teddy. <laughs> This all out. And, and what happened after that? Oh, I'm still telling the story. Oh, okay. The night goes on. Oh, there's one sunny day apparently. Very soon. Second day of the ski trip. You decide to spend your time on the slopes until the sun sets. Right, time to hit the snow. Someone's full of energy. You guys were up talking all last night too. How do you know about that? Don't tell me. It's no surprise that they heard you, considering how loud you were. I told you over and over, the walls were thin. Uh, oh, so that's all. I thought he might have been peeping. We were talking about some pretty risque stuff in there. Sorry, Kanji. Did you get a nosebleed all over your pillow? Wow. Shut up. Who'd want to listen to you hens clucking all night anyway? <laughs> I think I would. Just a little. I may have done a little listening. I heard things about Nao Chan's size and Yuki Chan's shape. Stop lying, Ted! We didn't talk about anything like that! 
Shape or what? Wait, what about my shape? Have I changed somehow? You're letting him get to you. You're being manipulated. Jeez, forget about it. Let's just enjoy our day skiing. Let's go, Senpai. Not so blunt as ever. Hold it right there. Risei-san, don't you think you're being a little too, you know, you've been hogging the same ski partner way too much? Oh, we're in a relationship. <laughs> huh? But it works out so nicely. You and Yosuke Senpai are both on snowboards. Teddy and Yukiko Senpai keep taking the steep slopes and won't slow down for me. And Kanji seems to want to be with Naoto kun. <laughs> Aww. So it's only natural that I'd pair up with Senpai yesterday. He and I will take it slow. You don't have to worry about me. Come on, Senpai. Let's go. I think she's cute. I like Murray better, but <laughs> so. Showbiz people have amazing ways of persuading people. Why are you impressed? <clears throat> the, the reason we're on this trip is for all of us to make some good memories of spending time with Senpai. In other words, we should all be trying to have some skiing time with him. Oh, Reese is not going to be happy about that. <laughs> Crap, you're right. You're right. FOMO. I want to make memories with Senpai too. Sometimes when you say things, I wonder if you have some hidden agenda behind them. Not Yosuke with his uh, supposed homophobia. Then I'm not snowboarding today. I'm switching to skis. Hey, that's no fair. I want to leave my ski tracks of love with Sensei too. Um, hey! Why don't we let Senpai decide for himself? Be honest and just make the call. Seeing everyone staring at you so hopefully hearts. Whoa, wait a sec, everyone. I don't like where this is headed. Some of you sound like you're out for blood. Let's all enjoy the slopes together, okay? Th that would be best. I concur. <sighs> Thanks for not answering before I could get that under control. I was, uh, I don't know, I was really hoping I could go with Naoto and get those social skill points. <laughs> Thanks, Jalas. I really wanted to ski with you. Let's say thanks. <laughs> no prop. You've got a partner who understands your needs. Oh God. Uh, well, let's go enjoy the slopes. Yosuke might have a point there. <laughs> we plan to make today a fun day as well. Uh, everyone's enjoying the slopes. Are you sure? Kanji is helping now to practice. Anything you weren't good at now to Oh, shut up, Risa. You're mean. How's it going? Do you think you're ready to start going for real? Wow. No, not at all. Quit freaking out about it. Open up your legs and point your toes in, or else you're gonna speed up. Come on, keep your balance with your knees. B but if I stand with my feet further apart, I'll fall down for sure. Like I keep saying, you'll be fine. Even if you do slide down, I'll catch you. Aww. You're so nice, Kanji. You never said anything like that to me. Because you're mean. I already know how to ski. I don't have to teach you. Well, if I ever do need someone to teach me, I definitely want someone nice like Senpai to do it. Not her flirting with another guy in front of me. Right, Senpai? They're doing that today, too? It's more like falling than skiing. <laughs> Maybe they just don't know how to stop? Well, they ain't dead yet, so I guess they can stop somehow. <laughs> uh, it's Chie Senpai and Yosuke Senpai. Yoo-hoo! Everyone here is so cute. Good. I'm so jealous that they can snowboard. People who are good at it can look so cool. But I'm definitely more into skiing with you right now, Senpai. I feel bad that we're in other people's way, so shall we get going? Please, wait. Can you stay with me until I reach the bottom? I have no idea which way I'll end up going. Okay, last one there's a rotten egg. See you at the bottom. No. Are you listening? I can't turn or stop. Don't worry. Someone's going to be there to catch you. Right, Kanji? 
Wow. <laughs> I'll catch now, so I'd rather catch you say I'll catch you all. What if I say I'll catch now though? You're now the center of attention. <laughs> well then, I'll be counting on you. Jeez, you're too nervous now, Tokun. You just need to ski straight. Risa is not mad. What the hell's he doing now? He's not even wearing skis. He's wearing his suit. I think I'm going to walk. Right? I mean, I, I would too. I hate skiing. I've never skied, but I hate the thought of it. Time passes as you have fun on the slopes. No, thank you. The sun is going to be setting soon. Should you ask someone to accompany you down the slope? Ask Chie, Yukiko, Risa, and Naoto ask the guys. Let's ask Naoto because we're really trying hard with this relationship. Maybe Reese is going to be pissed, but... I don't care anymore. You and Naoto enjoyed your time together in the mountain. My legs are more tired than I She needs think. practice at the end of the day. I thought I'd have learned to not fall down anymore. But I must be tensing my legs too much. Naoto seems quite exhausted. I'm sorry. You must hate having a total beginner holding you back like this. I've always been able to pick up new skills when they become necessary, but I've never had to ski before. Murder mysteries may take place in snowy mountain retreats and novels, but it's not that often in real life. Cutting a telephone line in a mountain cottage during a blizzard is obviously suicidal. To <laughs> I wonder how long it's been since I last tried so hard to just have fun. I used to think that these frivolities were a waste of time, that they wouldn't make me any better of a person. I really like her voice actors as well. So thinking back on it, I have to laugh. I was all alone then. And she's just friendly. It's so nice. I want to come back here again. Let's come again with everyone. Let's make it just us next time. College entrance exams are coming. She's a bro. Like we can we can we can go together. Just What do you mean by that? <laughs> if you mean that some one-on-one -on -one coaching would increase the effect Hello, how awkward she is. <laughs> I suppose so. Nasa seems to be slightly at a loss. Shall we start? <laughs> the snow's starting to fall quite heavily. Which way should we be headed to get back to the lodge? Oh, well, I thought I was simply following you today, so I wasn't checking on our course. It should be right, I think it's left. Let's say left. You don't sound very confident. But then again, I'm sure we'll get somewhere as long as we stick to the ski course. We should leave soon then. I can't go very fast after all. She didn't need practice. Oh my, oh my god, maybe Reese is gonna be mad at me. The snow is rapidly decreasing in visibility. You decide to somehow make your way to the lodge. Oh god. Oh. Okay. Adventure. You walk quite a bit, but the lodge is still nowhere to be seen. The snow seems to be coming down even harder now. This area. <sighs> be that we're lost. I don't want to admit it, though. This is a problem. The snow could be concealing small rivers or cliffs beneath us. I don't think we should be walking around aimlessly. Actually, I'm reaching my limits. Don't fall asleep, no matter what. We should keep walking. Let's dig a snow hut. We should probably do that. <laughs> <laughs> The snow's too no. soft. It needs to at least set for a night. Oh, creepy. Uh, look, isn't that a cottage? Thank goodness. Even if that place is empty, there should be things there. We may be able to get ourselves warm. Let's go check it out. Excuse me. Is anyone here? I like how you probably get a different cutscene depending on who you choose. There's no answer from inside. Huh? Creepy. 
The door was unlocked, but there's no one inside. Unlocked. I wonder why, though. Some places don't use padlocks because they've been known to freeze shut in extreme conditions. Let's just consider ourselves lucky for now. Nato looks anxious. Are you cold? Are you scared? Oh, we can set fire, right? Well, a little. I'll be all right. We found shelter, so I'll manage from here. Um, do you happen to have your cell phone? I tried making numerous calls while we were lost, and my phone's battery has run out. You do have your cell phone. If there's a signal, you may be able to call for help. The screen says no service. It seems there's no signal here. This is a problem. Could all the snow be disrupting the signal? Look at that creepy doll next to Nato. It's scaring me. The blizzard isn't calming down either. I doubt it will last long, considering the weather here in the mountains. But this still isn't good. We may be indoors, but the cold is a very real threat. B by the way, um, warming each other with our bodies would be ineffective in our case. That only works when your clothes are wet, or one person's body temperature has been significantly lowered. Uh, right. No one asked for details. I love her. This is so cute. But on a more serious note, we do need to find a way to warm ourselves, or we'll be in trouble. Ah, upon closer inspection, this sunken hearth uses charcoal and not firewood. Thank goodness. If we can get some ventilation in this room, we'll be able to use this. Now we need something to start a fire, but a place like this should have some tools available. Huh. You find old newspapers and some matches. After some effort, you manage to get a fire started in the hearth. Okay, that's cute. Seems we won't have to worry for the time being. Ah, Prometheus. <laughs> Thank you for fire. Oh, this is well a more effective way to get warm. We can't let any last bit of heat go to waste after all. <laughs> Where could we be? I thought that we'd been walking towards the lodge. Even once the blizzard settles, it's risky to walk around in the mountains at night. It seems we have no choice but to stay here. Mm. Strange. We're in quite a pinch, but some part of me is actually enjoying this. All alone with another, stuck in a mountain cottage for an entire night. I mean, it's kind of cute, right? Yes. I think this feeling is referred to as the suspension bridge effect. <laughs> I love how nerdy and awkward she is. Senpai? Um... That better not be a TV. Right now, correct? Why? Let's check it out. I'll go take a look. No, we go together. Yes. I can't pretend it didn't happen. Whoa, Senpai? What are you doing? That... You should stop doing that. What am I doing? I, I mean, this is hardly an ideal location to be trying this. Stop! Before you go too deep! What am I doing? What are you guys doing? This isn't that kind of mystery, Detective Prince. Stop! It's just an incredibly romantic situation up on a ski trip. Don't give in. Oh no! Oh, Reese is gonna. Everyone, they're still dressed. Of course we're dressed, it's cold. Why would they take off their clothes in this freezing weather? And dude, why are you guys so flustered? What is up with you guys? Are you really asking that, Kanji Kun? Now, John, were you waiting for an audience? Huh, how shameless. You don't have to prove yourself to anyone. What? But okay, I'll take a front row seat and I, I'm having a hard time understanding what you're trying to get at. Her autism is precious. You came to rescue us, correct? Actually, since when were you all outside? 
Don't tell me you've been here the entire time. No, I mean, not on purpose. It would have been awkward to interrupt before, but... So, you're saying that you were spying on us. Hey, we came because we were worried about you. More to the point, what are the two of you doing in here? How did they know we were here? We needed to examine this TV here in greater detail. The TV? Why? It's not plugged in. Come on, guys. Don't try that lame excuse on us. That is not an excuse. It's the truth. Senpai attempted to go inside the television and... Why are you looking at me like that? Everyone's staring at you in contempt. Oh, do I need to tell them now? He desperately explained what happened just now. Huh. So you got lost, found this building, and then things started heating up. You obviously aren't listening to what we're trying to tell you. The TV turned itself on even though it isn't plugged in. Since the Midnight Channel is no more, we need to investigate. I'm glad I came here with Nalto. There's no way we'd risk ourselves to come to this stupid little shack just out of some impure motives. But this building is right behind the lodge, though. We were told that it's a storage shed. They don't lock it because workers come here often during the day. And it's not like there's a blizzard or anything. Maybe you just saw a reflection from the ski lights or something. That's impossible. Then again, I don't think Naoto Kun would lie about something like this. And since we're all here, we might as well check out this TV. Hey, wait a second. I love the fire crackling effects and everything. Oh. Oh no. Oh my god. Uh, that hurt. Huh? What the hell is this? Well, that's not good. Creepy. My <laughs> Margaret. Maybe Margaret. Oh. Excuse me. Please forgive the slightly impolite invitation. Whoa. She's beautiful. <gasps> Now's not the time for gawking. I think she's the one who grabbed me. Who is she? You know her? She's my sweetheart. A friend of sorts. What if I say sweetheart? <laughs> Dude, she is a real woman. Where the hell did you meet her? Forgive me for not introducing myself sooner. We meet for the first time. My name is Margaret. I am a helper on this young man's journey. I meant you no harm. Mm, well, can we trust her? Of course, I think so. Of course, we are rank one social link. I trust her fully. I see. Do you remember? I have come to fulfill my promise. Promise? You meant about Maria? It's about time, right? I am sorry to have kept you waiting. I apologize for the amount of time it required me to prepare. Seems Margaret is finally here to guide you. Is Marie here? This is the Hollow Forest. The closed realm, created by her in the TV world. The world of the human mind. It would seem that after Marie left us, she shut herself in here. Shut herself in? But why? I do not know everything. But, as you know, she was searching for her memory. And by opening her heart to you, she finally regained that memory. It would seem that what she found was not what she had been hoping for. Whoa, hold on. What is this all about? Marie? 
You mean Marie-chan? The one who was with you? I remember her! That fashionable girl with the hat, right? What do you mean, she's here? And what was that about her memory? They know that she's lost her memories. What should you do? Explain Marie's situation, play it off. Let's explain, I guess, if we are to have them help us. You explain that Marie had lost her memory and that she's currently missing. Emmy-chan has amnesia? We are inside the TV right now, correct? A missing person ending up in the TV. Don't tell me. I mean, we put an end to all that. I do not think this is the same situation. I believe Marie's disappearance is unrelated to the kidnapping incident you all were following. She was not taken away by someone, rather she came here of her own volition. She willingly came here? Does that mean Marie-san has the persona ability as well? No, Marie is originally a resident of this side. What kind of girl were you <laughs> A shadow, apparently. Hold on. This is inside the TV, right? Then, aren't there shadows in here? You're kidding me. That means... Marie's in danger? That means what? She is... Unless she can take care of herself. Right. If she were to be attacked by shadows... I will not say that she is not in danger. However, the same goes for you. If you are to proceed ahead in search for Marie, you must have adequate resolution. Is that why I brought my friends? Is that dangerous? The path ahead will be relentless. You alone will not be able to I, reach her. I was wondering how all of us are gonna go. If you wish to see her again, then it is my role to help you. And to do so, I decided to invite everyone who has accompanied you on your journey here. I see. I was wondering why you didn't bring just our leader here. Now I understand. You're giving us all the information and letting us choose what to do from here. You aren't here to stop us. Exactly. One more thing. Well, this isn't going to affect whether or not I plan to help, but... You are also like Marie-san? A resident of this side? The human mind contains more than shadows. I believe you all witnessed that in your last battle. Are you talking about those things that came out of Namatame and Adachi-san? Well, they were different from the shadows we know about. It does not matter how you choose to interpret it. What you see and what you believe are up to you. I know that you can supply yourselves with answers, as I know that you have been capable of coming this far. One more thing. As I just said, the Hollow Forest was originally a closed realm. It is not the case now, but in time, this place will seal itself again. Okay. In other words, we can't come in and out of here forever? Exactly. It would seem that little time remains before the Hollow Forest completes itself. Completes itself. Interesting. Once that time has passed. This place will be closed forever, and you will never be able to visit here again. If that happens, Marie's existence will be entirely expunged from your memories. Oh no. We'll lose our memories. Like, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, she's just gonna up and vanish from our heads? I won't forget. Tell me more. I won't forget. <laughs> understand your conviction, but the chances of that are quite low. The closing of this forest marks the fact of Marie's erasure. Oh god. Any memories you have of Marie will disappear, and you will return to your peaceful days. Well, we don't want that. This doesn't make sense! I merely have come to fulfill my promise. What you do is up to you. What's the deadline? A link from the television in the mountain cabin to this world. That is the only conduit through which you may reach this place. Huh? So we can't get here through the TV and Juness? Exactly. How do we come back here? This world and your world screens are linked place to place. It is a fact. Hmm. I can't smell the other places from here. It really isn't connected. 
I am repeating myself, but it was Marie who shut herself in this world. There is no need for you to think that you must risk your lives for her. I am sure she would not wish that either. Please, treasure the normal lives you have. That is what Marie would want. Oh yeah, she brought us here and then she's just like, Oh yeah, but never mind this place, just go live your life. <laughs> now, if you would excuse me. Hey, hey, wait! Uh, please? How do we come back here? It's a TV. The same type as the one in the cabin. This must be the exit, like the ones Teddy has. So now what? What else? That Marie chick is in here, right? If she's in danger of being attacked by shadows, then we've got to get in there and find her. Hold on. It might not be that simple. Let us leave for now, at any rate. We cannot blindly run ahead so suddenly. Yeah. Plus, we're totally not prepared, right? No. How are we going to come back, though? We're do it. Let's get ready and take this on full force. Yeah, we got to buy gear and stuff. <laughs> Ow! Ugh, who was pushing me? Shut it. <laughs> it's a tiny freaking TV. <laughs> oh, I dented my head in. Anybody want to touch it? No. Uh, no. What are you guys clowning around for? Come on, get up. We got a meeting to hold. A meeting. Wow, okay. What are we going to talk about? Uh, I don't know. But we always have one, right? I guess she just wanted to be the one to say it. Yeah, it would really mess with my head. <laughs> wow. I think they don't give her enough credit. Shut up! That's rude, you know! Still, that was a surprise. You know that whole Marie being from the other side thing? Wait, so the TV world is the world of the human mind, huh? It's not really sinking in, though. I couldn't even tell. I mean, it makes sense because everybody's, you know, imagination or whatever kind of made them envision this dungeon or this thing that they were trapped in. Sorry for keeping secrets. There wasn't a chance to explain. There was. No, it couldn't have been helped. That sort of thing isn't something that can be easily explained to others. It would be like the first time I met all of you. The issue here is Marie-san's motive. Why would she risk her life to shut herself in a place like that? I could see it if she was thrown in like we were, but why would she do that to herself? She's the final big bad. <laughs> memory is the key, Margaret is the key. No, it's probably her memory. Yeah, that blue chick did say Marie lost her memory. Maybe she remembered something that made her do that. Hey, I just thought of something. If the world she's in closes, she'll disappear from our memories, right? Isn't that the same as dying? No. <laughs> you still remember people who died. You mean she's trying to? I don't know. But it just feels that way to me. She wants to kill herself and make us forget about her? She's erasing her own existence? I think Emi-chan's like me. I was really worried when I couldn't figure out who I was. When I finally found out I was a shadow, it was traumatizing. I don't think Emi-chan's a shadow, but I think she feels the same way I did. Maybe she is. Shouldn't exist. Teddy. The atmosphere is heavy. What should you do? I need your help. We can't leave her like this. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, I think that too. I can kind of understand how she feels. Not having anyone know the real you, being alone all the time. Even when someone's friendly to you, you feel like there's something wrong. If I didn't meet all of you, I might have thought the same as her. Same shit with me. <laughs> I was always being misunderstood, so I toughened up and started biting back. I was scared that no one would accept the real me if I ever showed it to them. In the end, I couldn't even admit it when I was showing myself. Pointless. Yeah, we're all like that. Everybody's suffering in some way. Yes, but we were able to change. No matter how much we hated ourselves, we were able to face it and accept it. Because 
we had dear friends. I'm kind of glad that I went here with Naoto because I feel like I made another friend. You know, we weren't very close, but now I just feel like I got closer to her. It's so nice. Yeah, I know now. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're the only ones that can save Marie-chan. If she's really thinking the same way we were, we have to go stop her. That's that then. We should find out exactly what we're getting into first. It's better to know anything than to go in knowing nothing. It'll at least make things easier on us. We should devote a day to it. Teddy, Rise-san, can you scan that world? From the usual spot, of course. The rest of us should rest up to prepare for the exploration. If there are shadows in there, then we can't avoid fighting them. All right, let's do this! <laughs> oh, this takes me back. Even though it hasn't been that long since we've been No, we're so traumatized. Yeah, all right. It's super sniffy time together with Rise-chan. <laughs> My super ultra mega hyper uber teddy nose can pick up even the slightest scent. <laughs> But this skill is not without its drawbacks. After three minutes, I get just an ungodly amount of snot. <laughs> you. Hey, don't damage the bear before she. <laughs> At least he's actually useful in a fight. Wow. How rude. What do you mean, at least? <laughs> Let's regroup at school. Said by Yosuke, who's not even in a party. Your friends are thinking back to the way things used to be. According to Marager, there isn't much time before that place closes. You must find Marie quickly or you will never be able to see her again. You are concerned about Marie, but first you should get a grasp of the situation at hand. You return to the lodge and pack your bags to return home. That's great, but how do we... Today you're supposed to discuss what happened yesterday. Hurry to school. Um... I wonder if I can get a rank 10 on that social link. I'm obsessing over it. Oh, snowman! That's cute. Ugh, it's cold. Oh, well, let's start the meeting. First, allow me to report. Just in case, I've checked for missing people in the local jurisdiction to see if anyone may have wandered in there. Zero results. There are no missing person requests either. It seems that this place really doesn't have anything to do with our previous case. Hey, no fair! You said to rest, and yet you went and did research. But I went and checked the newspaper, too. <laughs> I looked for any news of missing people, but there wasn't any. I also tried asking our suppliers and customers if there was anything going on. <laughs> Everybody was doing work. Ditto. I asked around at work, but didn't come up with anything. You can't underestimate the housewife <laughs> network. True. Yeah, I tried talking with some former punks, but didn't get Jack. <laughs> I love Kanji. Considering that none of us could find evidence, perhaps it's safe to say that no one has wandered in accidentally. But more important is whatever Teddy and Rise-san found. How did your search go? No, no. I feel that hollow forest really far away, but that's it. I couldn't sense Emi-chan's presence at all. That place, it's big. I'm glad we didn't just jump in there without making sure we were ready for it. The hollow forest, huh? Is that place also affected by the mind of the person inside? If that's the case, then did Marie-chan make that area? Hollow Forest. We heard that phrase before. In the last battle, right? I think so. I was wondering the same thing. Amano Sagiri mentioned it. The place that gave birth to those who answer the desires and wishes for lies of humans. Was that it? Hold on. Are you saying that the image in Marie-chan's mind is the same force that created that monster? What's going on here? The hell? Who is she exactly? Our objective is to save her, but it doesn't seem like things will end there. If she is related to those monsters, then we need to do more research. What is she trying to do? Who is she really? It seems we have no choice but to go see her and find the truth directly from her. Let's go, we will find your thanks, guys, right? Thanks is probably a good thing to say. Thinking that you're getting us involved in your personal problems? Nobody's thinking that, buddy. That's right! I'm burning up! <laughs> right, let's do it. 
We don't know what she's bummed about, but we'll save her. And before Risa finds out, finds out that she's my girlfriend, everyone's hearts have come together. Wait a sec. If I come and save Emichan, that's like an arrow straight through the heart, right? No, she's mine. What should I do? <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Dude, I can't tell if you're being a creeper or not. Yes. You hurry to the mountain cabin to save Marie. No! We're here. We can't we can get to the hollow forest by entering this TV. Let's hurry up and jump in there then. That place is gonna get closed off soon, right? Yeah, that Margaret person said it was definitely going to happen. I think we're still okay for today, but I can sense it getting further and further away. Wait, does that mean we have no idea what'll happen tomorrow? That is quite likely. It was a completely different place until very recently. Since there's no guarantee, oh, we actually get this as a soundtrack here. Be able to enter it tomorrow, we must do something about it today. Right, it'll be a bit tough, but we got to do this. Let's see Marie-chan today. Well, it doesn't, I, I think we're okay for today. What if we, uh, I don't want to enter because we do, I think if we go back to town, she focus on saving Marie right now. Oh, I can't go back to town? Okay, what if we say enter? Let's brace ourselves. Okay, well, I thought I could go and get gear and... and... Okay. It's snowing. You're right. This is... This isn't snow. Those are flower petals. You can hear a voice from somewhere. Listen to my voice. My shouting, bellowing voice. Here I am, pouring my blood into my words, yelling at the very edge of the world. I am the little mermaid, unable to return the little mermaid. Are these her poems? Faded to foam, the little mermaid. Is that Marie Chan's voice? She sounds so sad. It does. And I think for today, this is where we will stop. We have finally reached the dungeon and I'm, I'm so excited to go. Uh, but we will make sure to go next time. And I'm really, really hoping to get to the bottom of this. Hopefully we can go uh, to the city at some point as well so that we can get gear and pretty much uh, get the rest of our stuff figured out before we go in as I'm not sure if we have the best gear, but that's okay. Um, next time we're going to the dungeon, not sure if we'll finish Finish it but I will definitely try thank you so much for watching this video thank you for enjoying the ski trip with me and I hope to see you next time in the meantime make sure to subscribe to the channel so you know where to come back do leave a like on the video and check out the pinned comment in the description for my full persona 4 playthrough take care and I'll see you in my next video bye bye